Hey guys, so I felt a little bit weird filming in Ulta because the employees just kept staring at me, but I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I saw in store that was new, or at least new to me. First we have the Urban Decay Reloaded Palette, which is very, very pretty. I don't know if I would personally purchase it because it's not really my kind of color scheme, but if you do like neutral colors with just like a pop of color in there, then this will be a great palette for you. I'm just more into crazy colors, so this didn't really stand out to me as much. But the packaging is so pretty and it has like that smoky effect in the background. And I think it's just a really cool palette in general, just not for me. I think it retailed for $46. And then of course they have their Naked Cherry, the Heat, and the Naked 2 palette, as well as the Naked 3. And they discontinued the Naked 1, if you didn't know that. That is my, actually my favorite neutral palette that I have in general. And this palette I've been wanting for a long time. It's the Born to Run palette. It's $49 though, so it's quite expensive. And yeah, probably if they have a 20% off sale, I would get it because I love that color scheme. But they do have these new found sealers, which I have not tried either. And it's supposed to be like a foundation concealer in one, kind of like the Milani foundation concealer or Kat Von D's tattoo locket tattoo foundation and I haven't seen any reviews on this but they also came out with this micellar water and I'm not really sure what makes it $18 I haven't read the ingredients on it but micellar water is very popular for removing makeup so that's cool that they came out with that and this mascara is also new, I believe. It's the Big Ego, and the packaging is all neon pink. I think it's really cute. And they also have the Tarte Remix palette. This one's been out for a few months now. I do really love the color scheme of it, though. I'm just not a huge fan of Tarte eyeshadows, to be honest. I have not had a lot of luck with them being able to blend out very well. But then I went over to this end cap and I saw all these little mini eyeshadow palettes and I don't think I've tried any of them but I think they're so cute especially if you're just starting out in makeup and you just want a little palette. I think these are super cute to start off with and they're only around $30 which some people it's a hit and miss but for a luxury brand a more expensive brand $30 for a smaller eyeshadow palette is not bad and then they also came out with these new highlighters in this new palette as well I thought it was so cute and I love the packaging of it and for the summertime I think this would be a really pretty palette for really anyone that likes the natural but a little bit smoky eyeshadows so that one's $39 and the highlighters I think are comparable to the Becca ones. I did swatch them in store and they're very very pigmented and creamy. And then over here Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with a dip brow gel which I'm not sure if this is different than their um their gel their brow gel that they have already. I'm not sure really the difference but I will probably look up the difference between the brow gel and their new dip brow but they did have these little kits that came with the brow pencil and the brow gel so I thought that was a really really good deal because I love their brow whiz it's so good and then down here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette I believe it's called and that's fairly new as well and then for Tarte they came out with this whole sugar rush collection which I think is so cute and perfect for the summertime and they just have a whole variety of products from body butter to oils to lip glosses to this really cute eyeshadow palette that is in the shape of a watermelon. And then they have a new eyeliner, eyelash curler, and then these, these brushes are so cute. They're shaped like cactuses, and I just thought that was really, really cute. They're $23 for three of them, I believe. And then they also have all of these down here. So they have a body spray, a roller ball, a lip balm, some cream blushes. And this palette is so cute too. The packaging is just so, so cute. I would love to have just that packaging. And even the colors inside are really, really pretty. So 
um, I think it would be perfect for summertime. I think that's a cute little package situation that they did. And then they also have a drying lotion. So kind of like the Mario Badescu drying lotion. I believe that's what this is for, for acne. And then they have a moisturizer, a face wash, and then a really cute face brush that kind of rem reminds me of Jeffree Star. But I did feel the brush and it's really, really soft. So I thought that was so cute. And then they do have this little kit right here that has the moisturizer and the cake body butter with it. And then down here they have some body shimmer. And I don't know if these bronzers and highlighters are new. I think they are as well. But here's a highlighting palette and then a deep bronzer. It looks really, really dark. And then they have lip glosses, it looks like, and skin treats. So I'm assuming that's like a BB cream type of thing. And then down here, they had the 5 for 25. So most of this was already gone because it's such a good deal. But you could pick five little mini sizes for $25. So that's really good. They did have some moisturizers left. It looks like some mini mascaras, the roller bottle the matte liquid lipstick and then the cake batter so you can pick five of those and get a really good deal and then over here they also came out with these 12 hour waterproof eyebrow gels I believe it's like kind of like the Anastasia ones and then Too Faced has this really cute packaging that is so so pretty and these are jelly highlighters I've never tried a jelly highlighter, but I've heard some of them are really good and some of them are a miss, but I have not heard any reviews on these. And then they also have this Do You kind of primer, I believe. You can use that as a primer or you can mix it in with your foundation, but I love a glow, so I would love to try those. And then they also came out with all of these finishing illuminating powders. So I'm wondering how good those are as well. And then these really cute blushes, I believe. And I believe they're all scented too because Too Faced normally does that. They make their palettes scented, especially for um, limited edition items. So this right here, this palette, I've been eyeballing for a really long time. And it smells like pineapples. And I just really like the colors in it. I think it's really pretty. And this one smelled really good too. It smelled exactly like berries. And I do actually love the color theme of this. I don't normally go towards purples, but I think this is a really pretty palette. And then these spoke to me so hard. Like, they look exactly like the Steel and Magnificent Metals um, little glitter eyeshadows, which I love. And this color right here, especially that blue, is so, so pretty and yeah i would love to try those and then they also have these lip products down here i believe these were lip glosses yep these were lip glosses and look at that packaging it's just so pretty it has a little watermelon and kiwi on it it's just so cute and then they also have bronzers as well as a setting powder over here and then a couple oils and then down here, I think they've already had this foundation, but it's the Do You Foundation. I have not tried that either. And then over here, Smashbox has these new products. They have lip glosses, this really pretty eyeshadow palette. I like the colors, but they're not my kind of color, so I wouldn't buy that palette. And then they have these lip glosses, which have crystals on top. They are so cute. Look at that. I just think the packaging of everything that is coming out recently is just so adorable and I'm in it. And then over here we have a highlighter that's more of like a pinky tone, which I normally go towards like a champagne color, but I thought it was really pretty. And then they came out with these setting sprays that are new and the shimmer drops, so those are really cool. And then they came out with a new primer, so this is the crystallized primerizer. Pacifica, I believe the brand is, has a primer that looks kind of similar to that. And it's called Crystal something as well. So I wonder how those compare to. And then, let's see, right here I was just showing products, but they weren't new. So right here, I'm pretty sure all of this is new by Bare Minerals. They have a dewy setting mist, which I really want to try. 
and they also had these bronzers which are both really really dark they didn't have one for lighter skin tones but these are new and the formula i did swatch one of them the formula is really really creamy and they also have these liquid bronzers which i've never seen bare minerals do anything like that so i thought that was really cool and then they also have these two highlighters that are new again not really my colors but they also had these blushes and they only had two of those and then they had these liquid highlighters which none of them are really my shade of colors either but i thought they were really cool and then Stila came out with these lip glosses for $15 and they have a lot of really, really cute shades. That blue or purple one is so pretty, but I don't know if I would ever wear a lip gloss like that, but I think it's really pretty. And the color range that they have, they did come out with a lot. So I think the red looks really good. That corally purple would be, or that corally color will be perfect for summertime and that champagne color will be good for a topper on top of any kind of neutral nude or anything and then they also had these eyeshadow palettes from Stila, which i thought was really really cool because they are large pans so the color scheme in the left one i really really like but this one literally speaks to me so much because it has those blues in it and then they did mix a little bit of purples so i thought that was really pretty and those are 52 dollars for those eyeshadow palette <clears throat> and they also have these liquid I don't know if these are jelly but I know they're like more of a liquidy primer yeah they're a primer I thought they were a highlighter at first but they are a primer and then they also have these foundations so they have a really small range they don't have a lot this is all that they had and i have not tried these either but i know that they were newer so i wanted to show you guys those and then over here they did come out with some new of their glitter and glow shades and they're really really pretty i have a lot of their glitter and glow eyeshadows and i love them they also have this new bronzer blush duo actually yeah it is new okay and then they came out with these and the packaging is so pretty they color coordinate it with the colors that's in the um in the product <laughs> and then they also had these over here that were the two faced gift kits that had the setting powder the blush the mascara as well as a lip gloss and then up here they just had a bunch of random stuff like they normally do that just doesn't fit anywhere like some anastasia eyeshadows and cover effect setting powders they also had some blushes by becca and yeah none of this was new i don't believe but there were just a bunch of stuff that just didn't fit anywhere and they had some gift sets on the bottom as well So moving on to this side, this is IT Cosmetics, and they did come out with a huge shade range of this new foundation, Confidence in a Foundation, and I've not heard anybody talk about this yet, and I love that they have such a huge shade range. It goes from the very top shelf, which is what I'm showing right now, all the way to the bottom, which I think is amazing. Most companies, they only come out with like maybe 20 shades or less, and I'm not sure exactly how many these have, but this foundation is only $42 for a high-end foundation. That's a really, really good price. So here is the bottom row of the shades. And as you can tell, it's a really, really good shade range. So I think a lot of people will really enjoy that. But as far as the foundation, I've not seen any reviews, so I can't wait to see people start talking about it. And then over here, they have the foundation as well and it says it's hydrating and full coverage so i really want to try it and for the price it's really not that bad for a luxury foundation and then right here they have some of their skincare cleansers eye creams stuff like that i haven't tried a lot of their skincare i have tried a couple things and i did enjoy them but i haven't 
like purchase them religiously and then this was on an end cap i noticed it was the meaningful beauty and i've seen this on line and i've seen it like on tv and stuff but i've never seen it in store this is their youth activating melon serum and i heard this stuff was literally like heaven on earth it makes your skin so so amazing and you guys can read about it on the package or you can read about it online i just heard that this is really good for anti-aging which obviously i don't need right now but you can never start too early on anti-aging products but i thought that was really cool that they carried that and then over here this is derma blend one of my favorite foundation brands of all time and their color range is a lot larger than the color range that we had back whenever I used to work at Beauty Brands. And so the shade that I have that I normally use is just a shade too dark. So I was looking to see which shade I had and it's actually the second one, not this one. The second one is 10 in and that's the shade that I have and it's like I said, just a little bit too dark. So I do need to go back and purchase the first one because it is a little bit lighter and I think it would match me perfectly. But this is technically a leg and body foundation, but I love this for my face. I had a client that I did her makeup for her wedding and she brought this foundation. I was like, you know, I've never seen that foundation. It's supposed to be for your leg and body. Why do you have it for your face? And she said it's amazing. So I ended up getting one and tried it and I fell in love. It makes your skin look so perfect and flawless. It's literally so amazing and it lasts forever. It's made to cover tattoos. So it will literally cover everything without having to build it up. And it does have sunscreen in it. It has SPF of 25. So I think that's really cool. And yeah, I definitely need to pick that shade up for sure. And for the price, $34, it comes with 3.4 fluid ounces. That's a lot of foundation. You're going to use this within maybe like, if you use it every single day, maybe like five to six months. I would say at the least, this foundation will last you a really long time because you don't have to sit there and keep building it up and building it up. It's really, really good. And then Lorac came out with these eyeshadow palettes. I own a mini Lorac palette, but I've always wanted their original palette and I just never ended up buying it but I think these little palettes are so cute and they have like a couple of shimmers in them that I think are really really pretty and for the price $25 for a luxury mini palette that's really really good and then they came out with these lip glosses as well they only have four shades but really pretty and then they came out with these highlighters and I swatched them in store Oh my gosh, you guys, they are amazing. Oh yeah, I did show that. They are so cream creamy and pigmented. It's ridiculous. They literally feel like the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. I absolutely want one of these powders so, so bad. I love highlighters and they have a perfect shade for me, which is the first one. And I am obsessed. Look how pigmented and pretty those are. I want one so bad, they're so pretty and they look very very smooth so i think they will look good on top of textured skin as well for 24 dollars, that is a steal for these highlighters and then to the right of them are the original lorac palettes which the top left one is the one that i've been wanting for a long time and they have a couple of mascaras out i'm not sure if they are new or not and then they have their smaller eyeshadow palettes down there, which I have a smaller version of that Lorac matte one. And so going over here, we have, this is Pure Cosmetics. I've never used anything in this brand, but I thought this eyeshadow palette was really pretty. I'm not sure if this is new, but I've never seen it. So I wanted to show you guys. It is $32 and it did say new, so I believe these are all new. They have lip glosses, blushes, bronzers, and I'm not sure if those are eyeshadows right there or not, but the packaging is so pretty. It's like a water kind of packaging and it's kind of like holographic. And then they also have this long wear foundation that's new and this is $36. I kind of want to try it. I think it's really pretty and they have 
an okay shade range. They don't have a huge shade range, but they are a smaller brand, I believe, so they don't have a lot, but they do have some other skincare products at the very bottom, like setting sprays, hydrating sprays, and moisturizers and cleansers and stuff like that. And then they have this awesome brush that is similar to the one that everybody used to go crazy over, the um, all or oval brush. And they have some eyelashes, eyeliners, mascaras. So yeah, I haven't tried anything from them, but I've heard some good things about them. And then Sally Hansen teamed up with Jelly Bean and came out with some nail polish colors I thought was really cool. And they did also sell the Jelly Beans there at Ulta, which I thought was an, a cute little idea. So they did have the 20 flavors. And then they were $4.99 as well as the nail polish colors were also $4.99. So here's all the colors that were at my location. I don't know if they had more, but yeah, of course I was more drawn to the blues more than anything. But they did have a bunch of different colors. And then down here they had two colors in one. So some of them had like a white and then a color. And then some of them had just two colors, like the pink and the blue. And yeah. So then over here, Milani came out with some new highlighters, bronzers, blushes, and primers. So this is what they look like. And I really love Milani products in general. I just don't like their setting spray mister. I like the setting spray. I just don't like the nozzle that it comes with so they need to fix that i don't know why they haven't already because i know they've had a lot of complaints about it and then they also have these lip toppers lip glosses and they have a pretty good shade range of those and then they also have these eye toppers which are again probably really similar to the Stila ones and of course the teals and blues i was all about i thought this one was really pretty and it's kind of like a seafoam greenish blue, which is like my favorite color ever. It's so pretty. But then they also had like this dark navy blue that was kind of similar to my nail polish color, but it had like purple and teal reflex in it. I thought that was gorgeous. And these are only $10.99. That's a really good price if they do last long. But then they also had this really pretty champagne color I think would look pretty as a highlighter and an inner corner highlight on the eyes as well. And then they also had, and then they also had down here some new eyeshadows, a primer, and then some highlighters, which they only had one highlighter. And I ended up getting that highlighter I didn't know that it was the formula that it was because whenever I opened it, it was kind of damaged. I got the triangle one that you see there on the left and it's a really, really pretty highlighter, but it has like a wet kind of formula, so you got to be really careful with it and yeah, you just got to be really careful with it and it looks really pretty. And then right here they have these new brow kind of brush situations. They were really weird and I don't know if I would ever use anything like that. But these are new so I wanted to show you guys. This is the brush that it comes with and I guess you're supposed to just brush in the product. And it's supposed to give you a more full bushy brow if you have already a lot of brow hairs and you just want to fill in the sparse areas. But I have really thin non-existent brows so yeah and then here are their eyeshadows i haven't seen anyone except for tati review these and i'm not sure exactly what her review was on the eyeshadows but she did really like this highlighter that's why i bought it and the packaging is just so cute but keep in mind that it does have more of like a jelly formula it's not like jelly highlighter but it is more of like a wet formula highlighter so a little bit goes a long way and it's super blinding and so pretty but the packaging i just love how hollow it is it just has that rainbow reflect and it's so gorgeous 
and yeah like I said they just had one color of that but then they also had these illuminating rocks which I have never seen anything like this before especially with the more drugstore side of brands and they're pretty much just different colors that's in there and I guess you just swirl your brush in them and put it on as like a blush or a highlight or something like that but I thought the idea of it was really cool and they look like they're that same kind of formula that has like a wet feel to it probably they didn't have any that you could test but I thought that was really cool and then up here they have lip glosses and I don't know who would want a green lip, go lip gloss but I thought it was really pretty I would use it as like an eyeshadow or something if it wasn't a lip gloss but I like that kind of eyeshadow color that teal foam like sea foamy green but they also had this really pretty purple which a lot of people would probably enjoy and then a pink which is probably more natural for people and then they had a white one and I don't know why I'm showing you this again because it's literally the same thing I guess I just wanted to show you the packaging again because it's so pretty but yeah this is a highlighter I ended up getting And then up here they had 50% off the yellow tag so this it was actually nine dollars I didn't get it but it is a little mini eyeshadow palette from sleek cosmetics and I think I've heard about this brand a long time ago and I know Tati reviewed that palette but I didn't watch that video yet so I don't know exactly if it's good or not so I didn't really want to get it but NYX came out with these eyeshadows and blushes and sorry not nyx la girl and i thought they were really pretty of course i like the one that has the blues and teals more than anything but the color scheme of all of these palettes are really pretty and i think a lot of people will really like these and i don't think i've ever tried any la girl eyeshadows before so i don't know the formula i'm not familiar with the formula but down here they have blushes bronzers and highlighters as well so i think these would be perfect palettes for anyone who's just starting out in makeup same thing with makeup revolution seven dollars for these large eyeshadow palettes and of course the bright colors the bright colored eyeshadow palette i really really wanted that i want to see the reviews on it first though but those colors were just speaking my name they are so vibrant and pigmented it looks like so i want to see people's reviews to see if these are really good but i have tried a makeup revolution palette in this line before on a client of mine and i really really liked their formula so i'm betting that it's good as well and for seven dollars for a full eyeshadow palette you cannot beat that if you're just starting out in makeup and you don't know what brand to go with try makeup revolution and then go with morphe or something like that if you want a larger palette but if you just want something kind of small but still have a lot of shades to choose from I would definitely recommend the makeup for makeup revolution because seven dollars is just a steal in my opinion for some good eyeshadows and then moving on over here this is bh cosmetics i believe this is a new eyeshadow palette and i think it would be perfect for people who are more into neutral shades and it's only $24, $24 for all of those colors, so that's not bad at all. They also have an eyeliner and then some more eyeshadow palettes over here, which are all very gorgeous and so pigmented. I swatched a couple of them as well. And they also have a blush and highlight. And then down here, I already have the regular Take Me Back to Brazil palette at home, and I love that. It is a little bit more of on the chalky side but I still make it work and it still looks really pretty and blends out very, very well. This palette was so gorgeous too and it had some of those foiled eyeshadows in it and for $17.50, I thought that was a good, good deal. 
And then down here is what got me. They have these Zodiac eyeshadow palettes and I thought they just looked so pretty. And the regular one was sold out, but the love sign ones I actually bought and I used my points towards. So it was originally $27. But I used my points and I used my coupons, so I got a really good deal on it. And they have some bronzers down here, a new Desert Oasis eyeshadow palette, and then their regular face palettes. But down here, they had some new brush sets, which I thought were really cute if you're just beginning in makeup and you need like a full-on brush set. And then down here, they had some more eyeshadow palettes, which I have the Galaxy Cheek one, or Chic, however you want to say it. And then they had like Supernova, Solar, Fl Solar Flare, and then the other one on the top right. And they're all very, very pretty. Just depends on what kind of color scheme you guys like. But I'll probably get a couple more Beach Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes because I really do like them. And I think they are great quality for the price for sure. Sorry I forgot to film an outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.